Hey guys, how's it going? Frenzy Gamer here, and I'm actually on my first wizard, actually. The, uh, if you guys didn't know, like, either you, you probably don't know me that well personally, or probably haven't watched past videos, because I think I did mention this before, but one of my first wizards was actually Storm. And this actually was suggested by uh, one of my subscribers, uh, Frosty. I believe it was Frosty. If not, I'll probably like mention it somewhere who actually was suggested from. But they asked me if for a video idea, I can actually talk about my characters in Wiz, and that's essentially what I'm doing right now. And what better way to do it than to actually have the Decaversary, one of the special times in Wizard 101. And right here, I'm actually with my uh, first wizard, uh, Logan Deathrider. He uh, actually was the first wizard I have ever created, the first account I have ever created too, because I have two different accounts. And essentially, uh, for him, uh, if you guys want to see how much of a noob I was, here you go. Uh, as you can see, I mean, this is essentially how I made my deck. Um, I, I had some attacks and everything, but yeah, it was that bad. And not to mention, uh, the reason why I trained for fire, if you guys were wondering, was mainly because, you know, Storm was a strong hitter, so I was like, you know, it, it makes sense to go for strong hits as well. And even before then, I relied so much on health. Like, I was doing, like, anything, like, that you consider noobish, like, very noobish, it's exactly what I did. That was, like, all of it was exactly what I did. Like, I remember during the time when I thought, you know, if you train your pets and they become ancient or, like, epic or, like, you know, the biggest, like, rank... A pet rank you can get because during the time I believe it was epic um, You can actually ride it and that's why I got my dragon because I thought I could low-key ride my dragon If I train it to epic or something and um, that never happened, you know <sighs> dreams crushed, but You know, I just had some of the stupidest ideas and also I just made some of the stupidest moves uh, during this and Essentially if you guys were wondering how I got to level 22 it was mainly because uh, other than questing, because you know there's some questing and there's some side quests you could do in the free to play areas, but essentially most of the XP came from uh, grinding field guards. Which, if you guys don't know what they are, they're actually mobs in the haunted cave. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what they are because you know most of my subscribers are wizard one, are from Wizard 101. Uh, but if you guys didn't know, they were, they, that's basically what they are. And I was just grinding that like day in day out, maybe do some cracking and stuff. You know, now that I think about it, I don't really have much of a life. <laughs> I was like literally the true definition of, of the whiz head back then. You know, like just grinding it out in order to actually get to where I want it to be. And, I mean, it wasn't really the best experience, I will say. I, I, I mean, it was very magical though. I remember the reason why I picked Storm was mainly because of the fact that, you know, they can use Zeus or AKA uh, Stormlord. And I thought it was really cool. That's a really cool spell when I was like, oh man, I really want this so bad. So essentially, you know, I just uh, got this guy, you know, realized that it's not, uh, you know, free to play in reality for the whole game. And, you know, I was a little disappointed. But that's really enough about him. I mean, there really isn't much to this guy. Uh, so I'm actually going to come back and show you guys the other wizards I have. Alright guys, and we are back, and here is my main account, and these are actually all my wizards that I have up as of today. So, I would go over my myth, but I think since he's a very special one, I will definitely go over him later. But first, let's actually go with my fire, you know, this is actually one of my, um, I think third, third wizard, no, not third, like fourth wizard created. So, my fire right now... Uh, level 76 uh, right now. He's an Avalon and at the moment. I'm actually rocking the crit pet if you did, guys didn't know Oh, I'm not <laughs> I'm rocking my uh, energy gear pet But my fire the reason why I actually chose fire. I mean excuse the stitch I, I don't really really stitch my gear until like around max level because that's typically the goal was to get to max level but the reason why I Made a fire was because I really wanted to do fire PvP the, the, the PvP, and if there wasn't anything else that I like other than like myth PvP, it was definitely fire PvP. I found fire one of the most exciting schools to go up against. They were just interesting. There, it's always fast paced, and that's what I love about it. So, you can probably see some fire PvP very soon. Not too soon, but you'll see it very soon. It really depends how lazy, how active I am questing wise. 
But if you guys can tell, other than my Myth Wizard, this guy, my Fire is an Avalon. My Ice, which actually is in Dragon Spire, here's my Ice here. Probably get him to max level. I actually am. My Storm, which is actually in. He's like the most, most recent creation. He was actually in Celestia. Not Celestia. He's actually in Zafaria now. And. I'm not sure. I, I actually kind of want to get him max level just for the lols, but then I'm like, nah, Storm's not that good. But it really depends. And then. My Balance, who was in freaking Chrysalis Part 2. And then we have my Death, who's like literally the closest to my myth to be in, I believe, Mirage. He's like around the midpoint of Mirage. Uh, however, though, I do want to say something about my Death, however. Uh, my Death actually was the second school uh, creating. And this is when I got to like actually learn a little bit more about the game and how it works. And, you know, it was fun to quest with Death. I mean, it was very easy. It's probably one of the best schools to solo in. Uh, because there's just so much benefits with death when it comes towards PvE and a little bit of team PvP too, but um, essentially not the best PvP school. Uh, however, though, I want to actually do something because you know these are actually since this is like kind of the closest max level I have, we're gonna do a Stitch review. Stitch review. And you know here I have my Stitch. We have actually I don't know what these are, but you know take a quick look at this sexy boy right here. You know the God, the Jade, Mason. Um, I'm actually gonna do offensive death later, but that's gonna be a later time. Um, I actually do not know what these are, so let's actually check the Stitch things. So yeah, I know this is the Blood Moon staff. I was actually trying to farm for the staff so much. I think I wasted. 10 15k crowns just to get this stuff because I really love the appearance for the stuff and I thought it would look amazing on my death then um, My shoes are actually from the spooky carnival if you guys didn't know uh, Mainly because I got this I got the I got bleh, I can't speak today. I got the carnival a uh, pack well not pack but the Bundle for the robe so I can have a good jade robe and it apparently comes with the car which becomes one of my favorite mounts um, and then this one, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, this one is actually from the Halloween pack. The, I have the latest one. And I had the idea of like a Day of the Dead theme. And I thought it would really look cool on my death. So yeah, that's essentially what it is. And then right here, also like, you know, Day of the Dead theme right there. And, you know, for this stitch, I really absolutely love the stitch. You, you can tell that. Uh, he has such an amazing idea with actually going with Day of the Dead theme, you know, just celebrating the dead or like, you know, passing of loved ones and everything. And I absolutely love it. The tux is my favorite touch to it, but really my most favorite part is the staff and how it looks so good on him. You know, it has like the blood moon like right there on the top left or whatever. And then you can see all that wood over there. And then my pet's also made of wood. Her name's Beatrix. And it just looks very nice. So if I give this uh, gear set a rating, I give it a 10 out of 10. Definitely would recommend it. It's very unique. Rarely have I seen any kind of stitch like this before. And I just thought it looked very nice. But my Myth Wizard is, my, like I said before, my most prized wizard of them all. Because, uh, so this is essentially the first like character or first school I get to actually play in to where I actually got to learn about the game and actually see what it consists of. I feel like this wizard's like one of the best that I've ever had mainly because of the fact that you know I just have so much memories with this like you know I had so much rival like back in the day if you guys were a true whiz head then you already know that there was so much rivalries you can have when it comes to PvP and Wiz is actually one of the best PvP schools, well not one of the best, but one of the most fun PvP schools to play as. And, you know, I was always a really competitive guy. Even though I wasn't the best, I was definitely very competitive. And I remember I made so much rivals with people, like I remember if if someone was to talk beef towards you and like they just want to fight you, like, you know, they do it in a 1v1, they're like, Hey bro, meet me in the arena, we're gonna fight this, 1v1 winner gets basically respect because you know that's essentially what the pvp was it was like a matter of respect nowadays when you do pvp you just you just do it you only care about the rank sometimes you even boost or just become so hella toxic with your strategies but before then 
you know, we were just some OGs, you know, just, it was all about respect when it comes to the PvP arena, it was just all about respect. I had so much fun with it, like, I remember sometimes when, when we were, like, rivals, we became friends, sometimes, uh, with enemies, we stay enemies, <laughs> and if we see each other again, we go again, 1v1, like, that happened to me so often, but... The thing is, is that when it came towards this game, when I actually started to learn about this game, I really loved the idea of just the fact that how it was so magical. And like, I've this game looks so amazing now. Like before then, it didn't look this amazing. But I still had that nostalgic feelings towards this game. Like for as long as I play it, because this graphics update is actually brand new, so it's very, it's, it looks very nice. They definitely did a good job on it. Shouts out to King's Isle. Um, but you know, I still got the nostalgic feeling because I just had so much fun playing the game. And again, shouts out to like you know Ryan Darkblade, you know Matthew, Austin, uh, I think Blaze, I'm not sure, Callum. And, you know, just so many people because there's so many people that I, that I used to be friends with, not anymore because they don't play the game anymore, typically, uh, who actually hooked me up with membership. And, like, I remember I was talking about, man, I wish I could just go to these worlds and everything. Like, I just can't do it, though, because I don't have the money. I don't have the access to get, you know, the actual things. And, you know, my parents didn't let me get the prepaid cards because they thought they were worthless. And to a degree, they're right. But I really wanted to play the game, and they were just such nice people, and they were just like, they were like, I had moments, they were just like, hey, there's a new world out, you want a membership for it? I'm like, yeah, like, I will, I will definitely love to have the membership for it. And, you know, they just give me the, they just get a prepaid card, they tell me the code, and I just, you know, I put it like right in the system, and there we go, like, here's my membership, and... I never took that membership for granted, like, I was just straight up grinding this wizard. I was trying to get him to the max level possible, as fast as possible, and also, like, a, you know, just like every day, it was like, I just get up in the morning and it's like, okay, let me play some wiz and let me just grind out, because mainly I was a solo player. Uh, mainly because um, I didn't really have friends during the time who would actually be willing to help me quest. Now, I would say today's kind of the same thing, but it's actually beneficial that I soloed because I got better at it. But, essentially, um, I was just, like, the only thing that mattered was for me to actually utilize this member as much as possible. Because, you know, prepaid cards are just one month. So, I try to utilize it as much as possible, and I did. And, this is where I am today. I mean, later on, I did get my own membership, but, and... You know, I remember going for like moon spells because I thought they were so amazing, and I, I was going for lots of stupid shit during the time. But you know, again, this is like my first wizard from actually learning the game. So essentially, like I was honestly in the sense of, you know, you have to learn as much as you can because you can't just take this stuff for granted. Like people were willing to actually give you this because they know that you won't take it for granted, and I didn't. Like I try my best to utilize that membership as much as possible and honestly if it wasn't for them i probably wouldn't be making wizard one on one videos actually to be honest i probably would but i probably wouldn't be as knowledgeable or as i could say good in my opinion um in the game because it took me you know so many memberships like basically so many months in order for me to get the grasp of what the game is and it took me even longer to just actually you know understand how certain things work and you know how to actually get some of the best stats you know lots of things like that but one of the biggest things i would say probably was pvp when it came to myth as i'll go to first stage pvp was probably one of the biggest things for me i absolutely love pvp it was so competitive and i was really a competitive person but i was like that type of person like you see me in the videos who like respects my opponents even though they kind of piss me off so bad um and essentially when I did the first age, which I believe was during the time like when Grandmaster kind of, I think Grandmaster and then kind of towards Legendary was actually a thing. Um, I actually did lots of PvP when I was like level 50 something, 40 something. I actually had like Arthurus during the time and I was just wrecking Legendaries like back to back and it was just so awesome. All I needed was just to get a Medusa TC and maybe some other TC that could probably help and I was just doing fantastic. And as you can see, that was like that was like the highest rank during the time that I've ever had, you know, ever in my life. 
but PvP was very fun. I remember, I remember when they actually, you know, introduced um, PvP houses, which is why I call them, or bundles. And those PvP houses were, like, so popping. Like, you know, you always have, like, a PvP party, and people are asking, hey, who wants to have a PvP party? Everyone goes to that one guy to have that PvP party, and everyone was just having an amazing time. You know, it doesn't matter what level you are, just join the freaking circle and actually have as much fun as you can. And it was amazing. And I will say, you know, later on, I mean, I got a little worse, and then I got a little, a little bit better, but I took technically worse, and then here we have the current day with my current rank, the highest rank I've ever gotten so far. But, yeah, like, there was just so many experiences with, you know, this game that I absolutely love. Like, I think one of the best moments I've ever had when playing this game was, you know, fighting Malister, you know, for the first time and actually, you know ruining his plans but only to realize that spoiler alert if you guys ha don't even know yet um that essentially he was doing this because he was essentially desperate he was essentially desperate which is why he was doing all this but he wasn't thinking straight but once he realizes how much of a useless you know cause this was that he just couldn't accept death no pun intended <laughs> that you know, he realizes that he's made so many mistakes and, you know, he wants to, you know, just make sure that he just rests in peace. And he was very, he feels really bad for, like, the other people who had to deal with his rage and his wrath. You know, how the other roads were just being taken over by darkness, essentially. And, you know, I just love the story so much. Like, the story was actually really good. Like, one of the YouTubers I used to look up to during the time was... Um, like Nectar Aeneas or I think Range Titan, uh, Range Titan. If you guys didn't know who he was, because um, you know they did Myth PVP and you know they were just one of my favorite YouTubers. Like they're they're pretty high, you know, high personality. You know they were just people that you just want to like see all the time. And I remember binge watching them too. I also remember OG Blaze and Blue. We miss you, Blue, by the way. Um, and, you know, they were just so much fun to watch. And then, you know, current YouTubers, WizTubers now, like FM Sorcerer. Also, shouts out to FM Sorcerer, by the way, because I believe he was one of the main reasons why, like, my channel has a pretty nice growth was thanks to him. So, again, thank you so much, FM, for that. Um, then, you know, other YouTubers like, you know, Awesome the Sauce, who I just enjoy so much. And, you know, he's actually a really good, like, YouTuber in general. So, essentially, I'd be watching his videos. But my favorite thing about Awesome Sauce is definitely his streams. And, you know, there was just so many people I just look up to. And, you know, so many people I watch. And it was just a really amazing experience. Um, but to end this off, actually, because I've been ranting for too long. Uh, here's my stitch, by the way. If you guys uh, didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys see it every time. But if you guys were wondering how I got this, it... Well, will it be surprising that this stitch actually comes from Bizarre Gear? For example, like this. Or this. This actually came from Tencent, but there's something similar like it in the Bazaar. So, yeah, that, that was the thing. But, <laughs> like, you guys will not believe. Like, it was, it, this actually is from Bizarre Gear, and everyone was like, Oh, man, your stitch is so nice. I'm like, thank you. Like, I got this out from the Bazaar. I'm actually a broke boy. And if you look at my stuff, I'm technically still kind of a broke boy. But, yeah, like, another stitch review. Uh, so, for this wizard, you know, love the texture. Love the colors. You know, the blade. It's all about the nice, long blade. Um, and because of that, you know, I'm going to give this stitch... An eight and a half out of ten would recommend <laughs> but again enough joking aside um definitely i will say this game really brings back so much amazing memories and you know like many other wiz tubers and many just fans in general of wiz we're really hard on kings out with lots of the stuff they do but it's mainly because of the fact that we absolutely love the game and we love what the company does when it does things right and we're critical on them because we really want them to see them succeed. We want them to keep improving the game so it can actually last in the long run. And there's still tons of potential out there. And there's even tons of potential that they can even do afterwards. So, essentially, um, I would just like to thank King Zyle as well. Even though we are critical on them 
for actually making a very amazing game to where we can have so much memories. I mean, there's so much things I could probably talk about, but I'm basically talking this, talking about this like right on top of my head. So essentially, I if I had all this plan, I probably would have more stories to tell, maybe. But you know, as of right now, I'm just doing things right on top of my head, so I wouldn't know. However, again, with all of this being said, it's really all thanks to King's Isle as well for just making an amazing game and actually just having us be so nostalgic over the game because we've been playing this since we were all young and you know we all just love and appreciate the game for what it is we all see its flaws because it has many flaws no doubt you know we see that they're in the end they're all good people and they're all just trying to do their best to do you know what they love doing and us here are trying to do you know our best to you know kind of guide them or like give them advice to certain things and you know just essentially enjoying the game so again much love to King's Isle for making such a fantastic game it's one of my favorite games of all time and not my number one but it's one of my favorite games maybe like top five top ten so I just want to say thank you King's Isle and happy birthday you guys deserve lots of love I'm a spaceship Go, 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 go